Hey, hey, is a um, proof of concept for a project I'm going to try here in a bit. I wanted to see if some of the steel that I had laying around could be electroplated with copper. And I found a few tutorials and how-tos and walkthroughs about how to do it. And I think I've got all the stuff here. And keep in mind, I'm going completely blind. But I've been to the store tonight and I have... A bunch of cleaning vinegar which nothing ever specified what that was I think it just has to be above 5% acidity which I would imagine this is because it's supposed to be diluted um, the other part I have hydrogen peroxide it's supposed to be at least 3% once again this was hydrogen peroxide so it may not work but then again it might I have some Ajax I just needed some abrasive cleaner and I think that's what this is. We have our copper here, these Scotch-Brite copper scrubbing brushes, a six volt lantern battery, um, and then I have an empty jar here that I've washed out and cleaned. Um, so this was part of a bigger piece of steel you see here that I'm gonna try to make a knife out of here shortly, but I wanted to toy with the idea of copper plating and see if this this steel would work well enough for for what i want to do with it um so i've spent the past 20 minutes cutting it with my with my little baby dremel tool um it's not the best no torque all show no go but i decided to run what i brung um so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn on the water and i'm probably going to have to set this down but i'm going to turn on the water and wash this off real well with soap and water and the uh, the Ajax. I'm gonna try to make a abrasive paste out of it, and I just noticed a, a rough edge here on the here on the steel that I'm gonna have to take off with the the Dremel tool in just a second. Um, but I shall be back shortly. All right, we're back after cleaning. It seems seems to have cleaned up pretty good. Um, focus. Um, it's got pretty nice shine to it. Um, I botched it up here trying to cut it with the Dremel tool. But um, yeah, I think I got most of the stuff off of it and it seems to be pretty clean to me. Um, one thing I didn't account for was shoddy materials. These cheap vinyl gloves from Publix. But um, so I scrubbed through my gloves. So I've come back, rewashed these gloves wash the washed off the the steel again um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our jar I'm gonna make our copper acetate solution this is the stuff that we're going to make the electroplating solution in so our instructions are to take one part vinegar one part hydrogen peroxide we're going to mix it into this jar. So, what I'm going to do is learn how to open safety nozzles one handed. You can tell it's not food grade, it doesn't have a seal on it. I'm going to pour that down in there to about halfway. Yeah, it's about halfway. Um, now I'm going to, this almost certainly is going to have a seal on it. Yep. I'm going to take this seal off. And I'm going to pour that in here the rest of the way. Pour it back on. I'm going to take one of these Scotch Bright pads. And inevitably dull a pair of scissors, trying to cut them in half. Because I'm supposed to have... Well, maybe I can untwist the end here. There we go. I'm gonna unroll it. It's like a sock here. Unroll this. And then... I'm gonna cut it in half.
Alright, what do you know? Now what we want to do is make one end, well actually for this we just want to scrunch it up, and then we're going to, right, I'm going to take this scrunched up ball of copper, I'm going to dunk it down in there. Now theoretically, in a short amount of time, we'll start seeing bubbles. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so it's doing something. It's got bubbles and it's turning blue. Now for full disclosure, apparently I forgot a step. Um, several people have suggested that you should microwave or otherwise heat the solution before putting the copper in it until it's just before boiling. I think it's supposed to help the reaction occur faster. But it's been about 10 minutes or one beer, depending on your preferred method of measurement. But I'll report back when we get more blue. All right, so we're about 20 minutes in. Um, I've decided to add a little bit more copper to it, so I added the other half of the scrubber just because it looked like the first one was stopping stopping its bubbling um, but it's really going now, but I've got this this red oxidation going on at the bottom and I don't know if that's a problem or not um, like I said, it's really bubbling now so I'm going to do some reading and looking around and swishing and we'll see what happens Okay, so it's been another 10 minutes, and we are turning a lot of colors, but blue is not one of them. Um, what I'm fairly certain has happened is that the pads that I bought, which is a Scotch-Brite copper, but it says coated scrubbing pads. Um, this was the only thing that was even close to what I wanted. But what I'm fairly certain has happened is that I looked at these little clippings that came off when I cut them, and it looks like they have a core, they're, they're copper plated, and the core is something, it's a silver metal, I don't know what it is, but I'm wondering if what has happened is that we've pulled the copper off and then started pulling off whatever else is in there, and it's reacted adversely with the, with the solution. So what I'm going to do, since I have way more than enough, is I'm going to try to pour some of this in into the jar like I have now and try to use it as is. So what I've done is I took another piece of the scrubbing pad, made a, tried to make it as tight a ball as I can at the end to get it all clumped up together so that it doesn't spread. And then I'm going to stick that in and then I've twisted it all up to the top to make it a little bit of a wire so that I can clip my alligator clips to. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lantern battery and my alligator clips here. I'm going to do, do this one-handed. So Red for positive, and black for negative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the positive end to the copper. Okay. that over on the side. All right, I'm going to take this junk. I'm going to make a complete mess by pouring it in there. Oh yeah, 
That's exactly what's happened. You look at the stuff that's exposed. It's completely pulled the copper off. It's got what I can only guess is steel wool under there. From what I've read, aluminum oxidizes super fast so that it doesn't coat well. So I don't know how well this is going to work at all. It may try to coat this stuff in aluminum and that's not what we want. So what I am going to do is I'm going to take our steel and set it over here and I'm going to clip the negative end to the steel and then I'm going to stick her down in here while trying to avoid making contact with the the copper and my jar may be too small too which is what we call a learning experience stop it there now let's see yeah we're touching it down there on the bottom no we're not maybe But I've got this about as far away from the side as I can. I may get some tape here and tape it down. But hopefully, in a couple of minutes, we'll see something happen. At this point, I can't guarantee you what that something is, but it should be interesting. Stay tuned. Okay, so this thing's been sitting here for, shoot, like 15 minutes. And it didn't even work, even a little bit. Nothing about this is remotely copper colored, not even a little yellow. What did happen was we pulled all the copper off of this again. So it's in there somewhere, but it is not on our stick. Um, so we're going to have to come at this from a different angle. I'm going to chalk this one up to learning experience, growth, whatever. And now I have a bunch of scotch bright, copper plated, copper coated scrubbing brushes. And I think I'll try to find, I'll wind up stripping a bunch of wire or copper pipe or desoldering braid or something and we'll readdress again tomorrow yeah so I've, I've rinsed out the jar and poured out the unholy mess that is whatever it was that I made and I may not have electroplated anything or copper plated anything but I have devised a solution to pull copper off of cheap crappy scotch bright pads and now I have steel wool I have a, a lot of steel wool hooray <laughs>